Hello, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to our first episode of Ender MC. It's a little, been in the works for a while, a little on the later side. Um, life kind of got away on me, as it tends to do with everybody. So, uh, basically, we've been on here for a while. Um, we are a little on the late side, as you can see, there's already the nether hubs and highways set up. So basically, this is just a super quick recap of where we've been, what we've been doing so far, and uh, yeah. So in uh, this first little bit, we kind of found a, a place to settle. It's a little basin, and essentially we're just going to terraform out layers into this valley. And uh, the plan is to turn it into a campground. So uh, Necrofim... One of the players on here popped by, uh, dropped off a box full of supplies, so we kind of missed some of the early game stuff, but uh, we definitely needed some more. So I guess the first logical step was to dig down and go caving. So that's uh, that's kind of what we did. We just dug down into the side, built some stairs. Um, So basically as we started off, it, uh, you know, we we're just gathering basic materials. Some of the stuff um, we went through over to the shopping district, bought some books and whatnot, and we we're just slowly gearing up. My goal is to stay relatively organized, but that, that just never happens. Uh, down at the bottom, we found this massive, massive natural cave, which is really good, but uh, there's the odd you know, mob here and there made it a little unsafe. So the goal was just to light everything up, uh, you know, see what, if we could find the basic stuff without getting wrecked too, too much. Um, actually, this all in all went very, very well. No creepers falling from the ceilings. Um, we had a little bit of range so we could take care of them. Uh, we found the basic supplies, some iron, found some redstone, some lapis and gold a little bit of copper here and there so uh from here we just kind of kept going and exploring a little bit more eventually we came across a skeleton spawner which theoretically shouldn't be too bad to deal with um i'm kind of a chicken sometimes I'm going to be 100% honest. So uh, it was a lot of back and forth, back and forth. But eventually we we took this and we turned it into something savable so that we could have uh, a skeleton farm both for XP and bones and everything in the future. Worked out uh, actually really, really well. So there wasn't a whole lot, a couple of saddles and whatnot in, in the chests, but... Overall, it wasn't that great of a haul, which was a little disappointing, but, you know, you can't, uh, can't have the most glamorous chests every time. So once we were wrapped up with our caving, we popped on back to the shopping district through the nether hub, which is absolutely gorgeous and fantastic, and this whole shopping district is, is just amazing. There are so many just amazing builders on, on this server. And, you know, it, it's a great community, and I'm really excited for, for what the future holds. You know, there's so many unique shops. Um, here we're going into the town hall. We are actually going to pay for a plot so that we can buy a shop. Or build a shop, I should say. Um, I noticed that no one is selling sand or gravel, so uh, I wanted to build a... A shop for that and I, after a little bit of looking around I kind of decided on a on an area for it but uh, first we had to pay for our plot but yeah, these these builds are just absolutely absolutely amazing so once we get settled I'm just gonna pop into a quick time lapse show you guys the what I built um, trying to get used to replay mod it's a little a little finicky here and there but um, Thanks for coming to hang out. Uh, I'll leave you with this time lapse, and uh, I hope to see you guys really soon. <laughs> 